kind of teed it up so well with that episode that she had been sent. Uh, we had a bunch of people write in about feeling hopeless about, you know, they're in the listener's words, many failed, and I'm putting it in quotes because I don't consider this a failure, but failed short-term relationships when you're looking for long-term and mentioning that they feel like they have a scarcity mindset, like feeling, having it feel really rare to find someone that you like who also likes you and feeling like it keeps happening over and over again that you think you found that person and then it ends. And our listeners have just heard in our update section that I recently ended things with somebody that I had been on more dates than I'd been on with somebody in a while. We went on nine dates over the course of like two months. And so I am, I am also asking this question, yes. <laughs> but yes. so curious, you know, both of your thoughts on, on feeling like you're stuck in that, in that mindset of, you know, will this loop ever end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to start? I have, I have thoughts, but you can, why don't you give your professional take? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, uh, you have to sort of train your brain, I think, to focus on the journey instead of the destination, which sounds really great in theory, but it's hard to do. And there's actual practice that you can do, but it's almost like, you know, Jordana, you always talk about like the emotional masturbation of like, yeah. you meet someone and then you start like thinking about all the exciting things that are to come. And you, you just can't help doing that because you're right. trying to get to that outcome. But I think, you know, and I always talk about this on the show, if you can try to enjoy the process as it, as it's happening, instead of feeling like this is what success looks like, success looks like, um, exclusivity or success looks like moving in together or engagement or marriage or whatever, then it's almost like anything short of that, or you're going to be constantly seeking until you get there. And then what I always talk about on the show is then when you get there, you're going to set yes. another goalpost. Yeah. That's going to be the next thing. So, and you can do that until you're in the grave. If you don't really train your mind to do this thing where it's like, that was a great date. I had a great time. I enjoyed that. I'd love for it to happen more or even the, the other side, which I know there's the, obviously that's not so easy, but like just riding the waves, which you're in one right now, it sounds like perhaps, um, you know, Allie, I don't know if you feel like you're in that wave of like, uh, oh, this is disappointing or my hopes were up and now they're down and just trusting that like you can't, that wave's going to come. We can't help it but you can kind of trust that you'll ride it through to the other side rather than freaking out and panicking and trying to change a million things and change your dating app profile or not date at all or date this type of person and not that type of person and do all, make all these changes instead of saying, okay, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm mm -hmm. just going to ride this wave and enjoy the space between the waves. I I've definitely that. felt that before. Oh. Yeah. I, I think this time I'm like, I'm doing a better job, Erica, keep me honest. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think like one of the things that I did go through when I was deciding whether or not I wanted to end things over the course of the last week or so was like, oh, I'm starting that wave again. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. making that decision of like, okay, yeah, we're, we're going to go through that whole thing again. But realizing that doing that is better than continuing on this that I know is not right ultimately. And I'm just extending or, or postponing that having to happen. Totally. I mean, I remember feeling like the same way when dating and having like a three month thing and end and feeling just like, oh, I have to start again. Like it sucks. And I remember my therapist saying to me, like, I actually like part of me wishes like that this works out with this guy, but part of me is kind of like hopes it doesn't so that you can like have enough experience with enough of these three monthers that you like, like you said, with the wave, you're like, doesn't work out. I know I'll survive. I survived last time. And you can be, you can go through the whole thing in a non-attached way because you feel confident that another one is coming your way. 